Welcome to the show. Here we have a 79 Scottsdale K10 4x4 straight pod roar badass machine. Okay, this thing is gonna be fucking nice. Um, uh, let me just take you around the truck real quick. So, starting from the back here, we got a, I replaced the tailgate here. Um, it, the old tailgate's back here. It's, it's fucking bent to shit. Still works, but uh, it's bent to shit. So, the bumper here, it's, it's a nice solid bumper. It's, it's actually kind of nice. I like that it wraps around right here. We got ourselves a tow package. Yeah, and it's just welded to the frame. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go check it out. It's just welded right there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I like that or not, but it's there. It looks like it's holding. Uh, whatever. We got some dual exhaust going on. Um, let's see. The bed. There is a hole. There, there's like four holes here. And there's two more underneath there I can't get to. And then there's another big hole in the middle uh so i'm thinking it had a fifth wheel at one point in time and look at these springs i mean the springs are beefy i think i think those look beefier than normal we got uh dual tanks here's one uh the bed used to be red apparently <laughs> let's look here Spray foam. Spray foam. So that's not good. Um, it probably helped the rust grow faster. Um, in fact, it did. So I don't know how much Bondo's on there, but I'm sure there is quite a bit. Because this truck wasn't painted too terribly long ago. Man, why is it zoomed so far in? <laughs> Um, over here, we got steps. Uh, apparently, that's how they're supposed to be mounted, is right to the rocker. Like, right to the rocker. I, I can't see where I'm pointing the camera, but I believe that's that was good enough. Um, Scottsdale 10. I got the nice mirrors, wing windows. Hell yeah. I got mud train up here. Uh, all the wheels match. They're all 16. 16 inch rims. I don't know how wide they are. I'm guessing nine. Um, come around here. Check out that beast. So we got a good wrench 350. Maybe it could just be valve covers, but I'm not sure. A uh, Edelbrock intake, carb spacer, Edelbrock carb. And I'm not sure how to tell what size the carb is, but it's fucking nice. Now I got a truck rolling in here. Thanks for being loud as fuck. Look at him go. All in. 1993 diesel. Um, I already checked the oil. I'm not going to reach in there again. I need to find a step stool. Um, I was trying to start it last night, but look at all the, you know, squirrels nest of nuts back there. Um, we got a plastic radiator here um the hood is the little fucker up so it's fucked up right there and it doesn't this this nipple doesn't sit straight so i don't think the nipple is even going in here i think it's just hitting right here and it pushed it in you know it's up and in i think this is the only thing holding is the safety latch so might need to get a new hood. It's got a bit. It, that side is not bent. This side is definitely bent. And it's because, you know, it's just so dumb. Like, why would they have this body line? Well, not it's not a body line, but, you know, just a metal crease right here. But it's like significantly right there. And then have this groove go all the way the fuck across. How did they not know that was going to bend right? Why is that even there? Is that there to bend? 
I don't know. Got to get these uh, hinges all greased up. So just for the time being, it'll be okay. Now the hood, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I don't really trust just this latch. I mean, I'm not going to be going fast at any point in time, especially right now. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I'm going to run it the way it is for now. But once I get up on the road, I'll probably either just remove the hood, pull that out and get it welded up. I don't know. Um, it's a 79. So it's got the iconic headlight bezels, uh, that come across here. The grill, it's the original grill, I believe. Um, at least it's a 79 grill, and it's all fuckered up, but it's okay. We've got the original bumper, front bumper on here. I'm um, coming around to this side. I do have a couple of rust holes, a little bit of mud, but for the most part, it's all right. Uh, nice solid axle up here. I got some sort of bailing wire going on um just now noticing that a lot of this stuff i'm noticing with you right now um i've got all the lugs so that's cool at least on this one come over here i got a little dent in my, my mirror but that's okay i like i like the little bit of a dent that's okay um more spray foam insulation on top of with bondo on top not good. Another step over here. I'm surprised I got both of them. But this one is not, not good. More spray foam insulation. <laughs> uh, I don't know. When they painted it, they just decided to paint the tank with it. Got the dual tanks. Another one over here. Look at these tires. They are gravel chewed. So... Rust. I, I'm not even worried about the rust, guys. I'm not worried about the rust really at all. Other than, well, we'll get to that. Um, another dual exhaust, or one of the other dual exhausts over here. So, and then this had to have been a fifth wheel because there's a. Uh, it looks like that's where they had their power cable coming through. Um, another big dent right there. <laughs> so it's. It's dented in. The guy used to haul a lot of lumber, apparently, and so that's how the tailgate got all fucked up. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, oh well, it's okay. Let's uh, let's crack it open, take a look. So I already recorded one part, but I kind of fucked up a little bit. So uh, I'll I'll patch that in somewhere. Me opening the glove box for the first. And let's open it up. Okay. It is empty. <laughs> uh, random wire here. What else is back there? Looks like there might have been mice in here at one point in time. So that's not great. I got these little... Those are air actuated. I don't know what anything about anything on this. Does that have air actuated vents? Maybe, maybe when I put that HVAC on the vent, it'll be. Uh, I got dual tanks. Uh, I don't know if that works at all yet. I got a cracked windshield. And now I have not looked behind the seat either. So this will be your first. Okay. I've got some sort of a uh, bipod. I don't know what that is. I got a, a bunch of extra plug wires. That's awesome. Um, looks like they've been chewed up severely. What else we got back here? I got a piece of trim. That looks like it would go and finding a mystery trim piece. I have no idea where this piece could go. Found it behind the seat, but that's okay. 
Um, over here, you'll see that the windshield is completely shattered. This windshield, uh, for the people who don't know, this that's the antenna for the radio. So if you follow these black lines, you can barely see them up here, and then they both go out. Um, and there's a little piece that plugs in down there somewhere, and then the other piece of metal or piece of the plug just goes right to that metal thing there. So that's, uh, that's the antenna. Um, yeah, uh, like I was saying in another part of the video, the floors are fucked. The floors are fucked to death, at least on this side. I'm guessing that side also. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Um, and then I already looked behind the seat. I'll try to patch that in. Got the sliding rear window. Let's see if it will. Oh, it latches. Hell yeah. Anything behind the visor? Nope. I got some rust going on here. Uh, looks like surface, so it, I don't know. Hope I, I'll clean that up, most likely. Um, I really plan on replacing all these seals and doing a lot of work to this truck eventually. Uh, right now, the main course of action is getting it to run it runs but i need to i don't know I, I fucked up or something i lost ignition i think coming over to the driver's side got the fucking go handle this handle's actually in really good shape surprisingly power windows power locks only the driver window works i think it's this button so only the driver window will go up and down um this is screwed to the <laughs> So I don't know what could be in here. I feel something. Oh, nice pin. Not nice. It's broke. Anything else in there? Might find me a couple quarters or something. Penny. It's nothing old or anything. So dime. Oh, come on. Come on. The penny. Yeah, anyways, and then the uh the emergency brake is on the floor. Oh, get a get a fuse and another penny. Making money here. And that fucking thing hurts. So but the door I think is good. So the bottom of the door is in really good shape. The rocker over here, not, not, I've seen worse. Okay, uh, can we see anything under the seat yet? Oh, gosh. Is something moving back there? I can't tell. <sighs> Floorboard up here. Leave it down in the comments. What the fuck does this do? Just kidding, I already know. Because I had a 78. But you tell me what that fuck that does. Um, a mess of wires. So <laughs> this has got these fuses in it. I don't know when they um, implemented the fuse box to use these fuses, but my I know my seventy eight did not have those fuses. It had the glass fuses. Come in here, look, uh, let's check the mileage. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm sure it's got some miles on it. I cannot tell how many. Got me a nice little radio, a Sun Pro tack here. It looks kind of, kind of retro. And it does work. Uh, because whenever I was cranking on it the other day, it was working. You know, is there anything in here? No, it's empty. Damn. Um, the radio looks like it's kind of falling out. Um, this is an AC truck. I got me the, the old smoker stash right there. Dual tanks. 
The dash is in rough shape. There's a big hole. This sun visor, uh, just a warning label. Anything else interesting over here? Um, there's the, I don't know if I'm going to patch it in there or not, but there's the steering wheel I'm going to swap out with this monstrosity of a steering wheel. I do not like the steering wheel at all. So I got me, I got a whole steering shaft because the guy was like, we were trying to get the steering wheel off. We couldn't get it off. He's like, just take the whole fucking shaft. I was like, all right, I'll take the whole goddamn thing. So we got that. And uh, door shuts. Need some pins, but it shuts. Um, let's see. It was registered. It's got a Kansas title, but it, for some reason it was Missouri inspected. So that's kind of an odd thing. There's another rust hole. Rust. Hopefully I don't find too much more rust up there. I really don't want to. Oh, man. This is going to be a project. It's either going to be a piece of junk forever or it's going to be a project. Um, well, let's go ahead and crank it up. Okay, so, you know, I wanted I wanted to get the everything cleaned up out of the engine bay first, but, you know, whatever. We'll find out. I'm going to get this booster pack set down in here. Negative. Hooked here. That should be good. Is that there? And then the positive. Get it hooked right here. Let's hope. Let's hope this works. All right. Now they're not touching anything. Let's turn it to twelve. Um, let's turn it off for a second. Let me grab the fucking keys. Jesus Christ. Where the fuck are they? They're over there. Son of a bitch. Hold on. I'll be right back. Yo, hang out. Hold on. Here we go. You hear keys jangling. Those are not the right keys. Got a shitload of keys here. I don't know which one does what. So, put her to 12, and then I think any of these keys will work. Oi! Turn the key. Fucking noises. so much goddamn noise. Come on. I got the key forward. You heard it fire up. So, anyways, you know, you believe it. You believe me now, right? It fired up. I, I was going to try to tap the throttle and get it to idle down. That whole throttle situation going on over there is not good. What? <laughs> if you can see, the spring is hooked to the fucking hose clamp. Um, not held on very well. Uh, Could have been bad. But, you know, I don't know. It fired right up. Well, not right up, but it did fire up, okay? Now, yesterday that, yeah, the throttle cable came unhooked. I don't know. Um, but you do believe me. It runs. It's a fucking runner. 
just got to keep chipping away at it, try to get some things to, to work on this truck. So, I'm good. That's where I'm going to leave it. I think uh, we, we did enough here. Um, I think I might do a little bit of work off camera because I, I'm not good with do, doing this. I'm trying to use my phone. I got to have this motherfucker thing on. Uh, I can't, I, right now I got that piece of trim that I found is all wedged in a fucking JLG bucket holding my phone. So I'm not good at the phone, uh, recording shit. I didn't even really think I was going to do anything like that today. Uh, but I wanted to get a video out, uh, officially starting the square body build. Um, so here it is 79 Scottsdale. Uh, it's just beautiful. It's just, you know, I couldn't imagine getting anything better than this. I am very happy with it. It needs a lot of fucking work. And we're, uh, we're working on it, okay? Uh, see, if you slam it hard enough, it just, it'll bend back down. You saw it probably. Uh, the hood is rusted real bad all over. Oh, and one more thing before I let you go. This is that body line. If you listen to the podcast, this is what a body line I was talking about. I don't like this body line. The other one just comes and then it's just flat. I don't like this body line. I don't, it doesn't match up with shit. I don't know why it's there. They started it this year. 79. It's got Bondo fucking everywhere. But uh, thank you for viewing the video. And I will be posting up a lot more videos soon. So 